And we're going to start by bringing the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. So for those of you that might be watching this video before going to bed, you could even do this in bed, dare I say. <laughs> you could even be chilling in your bed and do these stretches. So once your feet are together, you let your knees fall apart and if your hips are really tight, you can wedge some pillows up underneath your legs that can help give you a little more support if you need it. Then holding on to your ankles, lift your heart up so you stretch your back. You can even lift your gaze and open through your throat. And coming back to neutral. This is just a chance to stretch out your back after sitting at your desk all day. Inhale. Lift your heart up, roll your shoulders back, you can even lift your gaze. And coming back to center. We'll do that one more time. Draw your chest forward, roll your shoulders back, lengthen through your spine. Then try and keep this length in your spine as you slowly start to hinge forward at your hips. So I know the temptation is to round your spine, but we want to try and keep your spine nice and long. Even if you only hinge forward an inch or two, it's okay. Just wanting to keep that nice long spine and starting to stretch your hips. Then take one more breath in here. And as you exhale, then go ahead and round your spine and let yourself just fold all the way forward. Let your head relax. Let your shoulders relax. Let your hips relax. And just take some deep breaths here, starting to slow down your breathing and slow down your mind. At the end of your breath, at the end of your exhale, let's slowly start to rise all the way back up. Coming back to your seated position. And this time, extend your right leg out to the right side. You can even bring your left heel in a little bit closer. Inhale to extend your arms up overhead and twist your heart towards your right foot. Then as you exhale, fold forward, reaching for your left foot. Now, if you don't have the flexibility to grab your foot, it's okay. You can just grab your ankle or your shin. It's no problem. You could also use a t-shirt or a towel to hook over your foot. So that's a nice way to give yourself some assistance as you stretch into your hamstrings here. And we're gonna take this just another step deeper by reaching your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Bring your right hand back behind you and just give yourself a little twist in your spine. And then let yourself fold forward over your leg again while maintaining that little sense of twisting. So just depending on your flexibility is going to determine how deep you could go. Don't push yourself too hard. This is your time to relax, remember? So just take it easy. Breathe into your breath. Feel your body. And be gentle with yourself. Then we'll come back to center. And then bring your left hand down to the floor beside you. Sweep your right arm up and over so you start to get a stretch along the right side of your waist. So you can stay here if this is working for you. If this feels good, just enjoy it. There's an option if you'd like to get a little bit more stretch. You can actually press yourself up onto that left knee so you can stretch just a little bit deeper. But if that's too much, don't do it. Don't stress about it. 
And then we'll all meet back in center. And we'll come back to our Baddha Konasana with the feet together and the knees wide. And then prepare for the other side. So you can extend your left leg out to the left side. And go ahead and bring your right heel a little bit closer. Inhale, stretching your arms up. As you exhale, twist towards your front leg and fold forward. So you're reaching for your foot if you can grab it. If not, you reach for your ankle or your shin. Wherever you can reach is just fine. Just taking this moment to stretch out the back of your legs. And, you know, I'm feeling a stretch along the back, uh, my low back there. So for those of you that might spend a lot of time sitting, this is going to be a great stretch for your back. Then we'll move into that twist by reaching your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Bring your left hand back behind you so you have a little leverage to twist your spine. And then start to fold forward, maintaining that little baby twist. So remember, don't push yourself too far. Don't push yourself too hard. Be gentle with your body slowly starting to unwind the layers of stress from your day. And then we'll come all the way up. Then bring your right hand to the floor beside you. Sweep your left arm up and over to the side. Remember, you can keep your hips down here. It's no problem. If this side stretches enough, Go for it, just enjoy it. Stretch and reach through your fingertips. If you want a little more stretch sensation, you can press yourself up onto that right knee and reach a little bit further through your fingers. And we'll all come back to center. And now we're gonna move to lying on your back. So go ahead and find yourself a comfortable position on your back. And then cross your right ankle over your left knee. You're gonna reach your right hand through your legs and reach your left hand around so you can grab onto your left knee or maybe onto your left hamstring if that feels better. Okay, so get a good grip onto your left leg and start to draw that knee in towards your chest using the strength of your arms. You're going to feel a nice stretch along the outside of your right hip. So that's what we're going for, stretching out those glutes, the piriformis. For those of you that experience sciatic pain, this is a great stretch to help relieve that tension. So this is a good one to have in your back pocket. Then release your left foot to the ground and then cross your right knee all the way over. If it's possible for you, you could hook your right toes behind your left ankle but you don't have to, so it's your choice. Then open your hands out to the side, and you're gonna slowly twist over to the left, lowering both knees to the left side, giving you a nice little twist in your spine. You can roll your gaze towards the right, so you feel that full twist in the entire length of your spine. One more cycle of breath here, breathing in and out, and then we'll slowly return to center. 
uncross your legs and then bring your right uh, left ankle over your right knee so we're switching sides here reach your left hand through your legs and your right hand around to grab the outside of your shin or maybe underneath for your hamstring just finding that position that feels the best for your body then start to use your arm strength to pull your right knee closer to your chest, giving you a little bit more stretch through that left hip. And you may notice that one side feels more tight than the other. That's a pretty common situation. So whatever you notice, just use your breath to help you relax. And slow down. And allow yourself to let go. And then release your right leg down and cross your left knee all the way over. And so here you have another choice. You can cross that ankle or not. Whatever feels good is just fine. And we'll lower both knees over to the right. Getting that twist along the spine, through your hips. You can roll your gaze over to the left. And just continue with your slow and steady breath. Allowing yourself to unwind. And gently come back through center. You can uncross your legs and then slowly extend both feet to the end of your mat or to the end of the bed if you're laying down in your bed, wherever you are. Just allow yourself to completely relax in this moment. Let your feet fall open to the sides. Let your shoulders drop down to the ground. Let your hands just completely relax. Relax your forehead and your face and your jaw. Just let it go. And as you let your body relax, you can start to let your mind relax too. So whatever stress has been going on in your life, just imagine it's like a ball of yarn that's just unraveling. Whatever stressful or emotional tension whatever's been going on just let it unravel right here right now so that all that's left is your body and your breath and the sound of my voice just allowing you to come into a deeper place of relaxation and stillness There's nothing that you need to do right now. All that's needed in this moment is just your breath. It's just to be still. Welcome to stay here and rest as long as you like. 
maybe even drifting off into a peaceful sleep. And as you feel ready to awaken, you can stretch your arms up overhead, wiggle your fingers and toes, taking a full body stretch. Roll yourself over to one side, coming to a comfortable and relaxed fetal position. And if you can, keep your eyes closed. It's a nice way to stay connected in your inner peaceful world. And you can slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Just coming back to that place where we began. But you notice the quality of your being is more relaxed, more peaceful, more centered. This is a place you can come back to as often as you like. Thank you for sharing in this practice with me, and I hope that you will come back and practice this video again and again. The more you practice entering into this peaceful state of relaxation, the easier it is to access that peaceful place whenever you need to. So don't forget to subscribe to the Yoga TX channel I'm releasing new video every Thursday. So there's lots of good content coming your way. You can visit our website, yogatx.org. There's all kinds of great information. We've got some awesome videos there, some full-length videos if you're ready to deepen your practice. You can also visit my website, jenhillman.com find out about upcoming retreats and workshops and find out when I'll be in your area so you can come and practice with me in person. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're feeling peaceful and relaxed that you can enjoy this state of being for the rest of your day or night. I'll see you next time. Namaste.